friends. Nine days past evaluation and day two of testings. Yeah, today I'm gonna be using Q test GP1 and first response. I do get I got yeah actually I got two boxes of clear blue eight tests total but today for some reasons I feel like I want to use um, first response first and then maybe tomorrow or after I'm gonna use clear blue let's dip the tests first yeah let me open up all the tests by the way I did my permanent tattoo on my face today it's not my first time no it's definitely not i'm just you know it's a touch up um i had it previously first time i did it in 2019 uh, no very very first time i did it in 2012 or 13 don't remember and I did just my eyebrows and for this time around I decided to go ahead and do the eyes, eyeliner, the lips, the eyebrow, the like everything and first time when I did everything was 2019 and uh, I'm just you know repeat the procedure and it's not new to me I'm pretty much familiar with everything and if you guys thinking about the same thing I do recommend you to do this because it's just a lifesaver for those who don't have enough time for makeup on a daily basis and for those who um, want to look beautiful on a daily basis who want to wake up and feel like you already have a, a lipstick eyeliner and your brows look amazing yeah let's wait for three minutes and let's talk I'm 9 DPO and I feel very energetic very very fresh very energetic full of energy and for 9 DPO like when you are pregnant usually you don't feel this way at 9 DPO uh, I mean that I'm not sure about you guys but I remember my nine days past evolution when I got pregnant the very last time and you can watch that video I just felt awful not good at all lack of energy a lot of cold like symptoms this time around no not at all I did feel a little bit sicky two or three days ago I had a thirst throat and it got so much better within like two days but I was using you know like peels and mm, like candies slash peel that you dissolve in your mouth and it just it helped me a lot and so far I I don't feel any cold symptoms I just feel amazing totally fine like nothing nothing is going on and my appetite is on a lower side i was so busy today i was extremely busy that i had no time to think about food like a like a normal lunch or dinner i was always on the go and like snacking and my snack was pretty healthy i had string cheese i had apples i had raisins but overall when i came home in the evening i had um, chicken with noodles and um, a little bit of chocolate and believe me my dinner was small it was really small and i was satisfied with this i was completely fine and yeah i had an apple 
and my lunch was on the go and yeah my breakfast was pretty good but I ate my breakfast at 7 a.m. and then I left the house and I was kind of always running doing things and not even thinking about food but usually like typically when I'm pregnant even it's when it's like so so early I'm a little bit hungrier like more than now I would say but I'm not sure I'm not sure guys so one more thing is I did feel nauseous today when I was driving and I felt this in the car and it was so quick like one wave that came stayed with me for like five seconds and it went away and honestly i i feel nauseous a lot before periods and it's typical for me it's very normal and it's like it it means that my period is on the way and it could be pregnancy related symptom like you never know you never know so what else guys um no frequent urination um, I can tell you that when I got pregnant last time, last year, very last time when I got pregnant with baby number four, my third time, but yeah, I had a miscarriage, but anyway, at that very last time, I remember that I started having frequent urination at eight days past ovulation, I woke up twice during the night time and it wasn't normal to me and this time around I'm nine days past ovulation my urine nine days past ovulation excuse me and my urination is totally fine urination <laughs> confusing doesn't matter let me pick up the tests yeah, the first one is gonna be TP1, which is Q test. I don't think that it's gonna be anything at 9 dpo. First, it's too early. Second, I'm not sure that I'm pregnant. And third, I'm just, I'm, I don't believe in myself for some reason. Let me check the test. I don't see nothing. Nothing. My camera is dying, let me try and change the battery. I'll be back. I am back. So the TP test is pretty negative. I'm just trying to find a line, but I don't think so. The first response is on the way, and I'm gonna check it in one, two, three, four. I swear guys there is a line I swear you're not gonna see it Okay, this line could be an ABAP line, but it's so dark. I swear, I can see it. I swear. No way. Uh, 
um, yeah, you're not gonna see it. Because it's 9 dpo and it's so light. But I can't believe it. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Is it possible? Yeah, it's it it is. But is it evap line? Probably yes. It's so faint. Probably it's a wrap line. Oh my goodness. I don't see anything on this one because it's just too early for this one to pick it up at 9 dpo. But I do I do see something here. I definitely see a line. I think it's a wrap line. I think it's a wrap line. Yeah, probably it's a wrap line. And I don't want to get too crazy about it. Yeah, it just, it's not pink yet, it's still gray. But I'm just thinking that maybe it's not enough ACG in my system, that's why it's gray. Yeah, I definitely see something and probably it's a web line. Yeah, the first response is crazy sometimes and the lines are not real most of the time. Yeah, should I take clear blue right now? I don't know. I need to wait until 10 dpo because at 10 dpo it's supposed to be clear if I'm pregnant or not. No, it, it can't be real. No. I think it's a web line. I think so. Yeah, I think it's a wrap line and I don't want to think about it a lot because it's it affects me. I don't really see anything on this one. No. I don't think that it's a real line. But maybe it is. That's okay, that's okay. I will see you guys tomorrow at 10 dpo and we will know for sure it's a real line or not. If it starts progressing, getting darker, it means that it's a real line. If it's gonna be still the same gray, it's not a real line. And my hopes are still up and but I'm not sure, I'm not sure. It's so tricky. Yeah, probably it's it's a not a real line. So tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna take clear blue. Yeah, I'm gonna take clear blue to make sure that the line is progressing or that um, to, to make sure that it's nothing. Yeah, so tricky. I definitely see something, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow.